Greetings and salutations from your Lady of the Lake, Evelyn O'Malley. Okay. Today, or it's tea time, my friends. Yep, tea time. Well, there's English pastimes, I believe. However, and something little girls do, and dad just can't handle watching my little pony again. Anyways. Okay. Basically, these tea time sessions are going to be me talking about stuff. Just stuff that I didn't really think about before until now. And I tend to think tea is a very good way to help you think. It's got caffeine, it has all the stuff that you need to, boom, wake you up. Oh. Oh, I think I'm giving myself an animal. Anyways. <coughs> Today, we're going to talk about self-gratification. Yep, self-gratification. Yeah. Pleasing oneself and desires. Which, ultimately, isn't a bad thing. I think pleasing yourself is a natural thing. We do it already. We use the restroom. That can be seen as self-gratification. Because guess what? You have to go, physically, you know, and, you know, despite what we think, it feels good to use the restroom. And it feels, it's relieving. I, I know, I just put in toilet humor, so I should shut up. Anyways, um, we self-gratify ourselves, just breathing, eating, sleeping, you know, some people can't get on their feet. If they haven't had at least eight hours, which is good. That's usually how much a person should sleep. Ironically, our cats and dogs do about the same thing. Yeah. You know, most cats sleep about 60 hours, twice as long as a normal human. Mind you, they do in little spurts here and there, maybe every two hours. Just so, if they had 24 hours, they would have gone to sleep. Sorry, I'm bad at me. Sorry, my hand really itches. I should have picked a better hat. I just wanted to deviate from my beatnik hat, you know. You know how beatniks work. They are deviates. And then there's self gratification right there. There are groups out there who just don't care what other people think, just do whatever they want. And for their benefits. But they do it under the guise of freedom or are their rights, which this is true. I mean, this is how a lot of people tend to look at feminism. And in a way, they're probably right. It is kind of self gratification. At least the ones that are out there right now are trying to gratify themselves. Don't get me wrong, I'm a feminist too. I believe the rights of women are important. I believe, but ultimately, what I think these women are looking for is gender equality. But there are still groups who just don't care. They think men are just the scum of the earth Not right now. They're nothing. They're useless. That's, I mean, it's just like what we did in the 80s, except gender flip, which, you know, I was okay with the whole gender flip when I was eight or nine years old, but now it's just obnoxious. <laughs> No, it means nothing. It doesn't fix anything. It doesn't forward anything. If anything, it just made the TV shows more entertaining. And maybe it made women a little bit more likable, being the keyword. Um, frankly, there are other groups that are doing that right now, and they're far more interesting. Remember the teen films of the 1980s? They're now getting replaced with the geriatric films of, of the 2000s. And I guess we might as well just get used to it. We're having a rising level of age in our society. It's part of life. However, you do have to ask yourself. 
how long can someone really put up with that? You know, I, I want my grandma to live as long as possible. I want everyone in my family to live as long as possible. Mostly because if it's something that they can help and stop, then they should stop it. However, I don't know if a whole world of just one group of people is a good thing. I don't even think there should just be a world of nothing but adults. I mean, maybe it would be better. Maybe it would be nice to have a whole world of adults. But then, it's nice to have a little kid now and then. Not, not to just play with and tease or anything. If I had a kid, I would have one. Mostly because I want to enjoy them. I want to enjoy the fact that I gave life to something. Not just create another person that has happens to have my genetic material and my husband's genetic material mixed in. I want him to be his own person. I don't want him to be me. I don't want him to feel like he has to be like me. But yes, I do tend to look at becoming a parent as self gratification or something like that. A lot of parents do that. They want to have something to control, something that will be just like them when they were kids. You know, maybe to laugh at themselves, maybe to placate their gigantic egos. Yeah. For me, I would do it mostly because I, I want to have a child. I would not do it for me. I would do it so I could just see this wonder of life. I mean, I do agree with what um, Undertaker said about babies. I don't want children, you know. Sorry, Mom, you're not have, you're not getting grandchildren, and I kind of agree. You know, I understand people who don't want to give children, don't want to have children, and people tend to be very selfish about that whole thing. Anyways, or not selfish, I guess. You tend to romanticize what having a child would be like. Just like, well, people tend to romanticize what it's like to be a kid. Oh my goodness. Yes, I get to go to school. Uh, yeah, with a bunch of boys. Oh, well, then there's another self gratification and everything. I love seeing uh, overachievers, they're good people, but. You kind of wonder, are they doing it for themselves, or are they doing it because they like it? You know, I don't... It's not that I don't understand why they would do it. I do actually understand. Because I don't know if I was an overachiever so much, but I wanted to do my best. And I can understand wanting to do your best. And to not give in. However, kind of have to draw a line between, am I doing my best, or am I just showing up? However, another would be marriage. Yeah, marriage can be seen as self gratification. Ever watch Bridezilla's? Oh my god. Self gratification when run a club is all about the bride. All about the bride. And don't get me wrong, planning a wedding is difficult. I have not done it, I don't plan on doing it anytime soon. However, I still feel women should be respectful. It's not just for you, it's for the family too. You know, this is something, this is not your turn to relive your sweet 16. You know, I know a lot of women will do that. They want to relive that sweet 16 that they didn't get when they were kids. And. I basically didn't have a Sweet Sixteen. I wish I could have. I really think that would be awesome. Just like the ones on, on MTV. However, I wouldn't put it on MTV to save my life. It'd be a very quiet Sweet Sixteen. I think I would want, just want, like, what my ring wall was. And I just wanted someone to notice me. I wanted people to realize, hey, I'm here. And I'm alive. Again, I'm not one of those people who are like, who felt puberty was supposed to be a that one moment where your body starts saying, 
and Evelino Mallet has a ride. I didn't feel that way. I felt pretty much what most teenagers feel. My god, my body's weird. Why does it do that? Why is it doing that? Why can't it stop doing that? Damn, he's fine. Oh. Yeah, really. It, it's doing all these crazy things. And, and another would be, I guess, another form of self gratification is television overall. I mean, think about it. When I was growing up, we had nothing but these shows that would just please you. Oh, yes. It was awesome to see your parents go down on the floor. Or see parents go down on the floor. And not the, not the, Good parents. I want all children want good parents. Screw that. You know, I I always loved watching movies when I was growing up because I always felt like they're doing the whole orphan thing. That's basically what they're doing. Which is a stereotype for kids, you know, I'm sorry to say this it is. A lot of children considering we have no orphanages, okay? They're gone. They're no, they no longer exist yet. There are I saw tons of movies that had orphanages. Oh my god. But, however, I don't hate when I don't like those movies because this is something that children are looking for in their parents. They want them to be sweet and everything, and they do everything in their power to be as sweet as possible so they can have a nice little home, one to call their own. Another way we do self-gratification is, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, finish off with TV shows. Um, heck, we have shows like Wipeout now, where people fall down! Oh my goodness, people fall down! Right. Uh, another would be... Well, the Harry Potter films. I love Harry Potter, but it basically was a self-gratification thing. It, let's put it this way. I like J.K. Rowling, she understands people, but I think it would have been better if the book... Yeah, you know what, I'll say that for another time. It's it's not that, it's not that important right now. But it is something that I will express I did not like. Anyways, I gotta go. Uh, anyways, this is Evelyn O'Malley. Okay. We'll go over and out.